Good morning. Caught you out there. You thought I forgot to do my intro, but I don't forget to do my intro. This is a security message. If you see something that doesn't look right, oh, listen, just listen, just listen. No, seriously, four minutes to eight, I'm back at Plymouth Station. Football last night was disaster. We lost 4 2, but it was a very, very good game. I mean, it was a very, good, very exciting game of football. Didn't feel like it at the time, but it seriously was a very exciting game of football. Anyway, that's four defeats on the trot. Relegation is just over the horizon. Uh, that would then mean returning to lots of other grounds back in need one. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, I'm at uh, Plymouth, it's five to eight. I'm waiting for the 14 minutes past train that would take me to Liscard, and then I'm going to have an adventure on the Lou Valley Branch. Yes, the Lou Valley Branch. My intention is to travel to all the stations, walk between all the stations, so that I ultimately end up walking to um, Lou. But the weather looks decidedly dodgy. <laughs> I'm going to get a bit wet, although I have bought my waterproofs. We will see what happens. <laughs> I return home tonight that lives, leaves this card something like half past five I think it is um, it's a uh, I'm going back first class because I'm going to enjoy a Pullman meal in my dirty clothes and dirty boots <laughs> anyway let's get on with the day and see what happens right, here comes my train uh, it's a, as I said it's the Penzance service it's uh, three coaches long I think, yes, three coaches long, and I'm going to take it to this card, and then I'm going to walk down to King Junction Holt. Apparently one of only two stations in the country that is officially called a Holt. goes the uh, train. I'm now off to Coombe Junction. So this is the view from the footbridge at Liscard Station and the line going off there to the right is the line that leads on to um, the Lou Valley Branch but obviously trains don't run from this platform, they run from another platform that's adjacent to this one which we'll get to at some point in the day. This card station. Right, I'm off now. I bought myself some bin bags. I've got my rucksack. I'm just going to go down this little lane down here. Uh, Lamellion. That is one of the villages that Coombe Junction was originally built to serve. Okay, so let's walk down this nice little country lane. This gives you some idea of the steepness from this car down to Coombe Junction, which the railway has to uh, navigate on a huge um, arc. Yeah. Lou Valley Line, by foot. I don't think it really means up there. I think it means around here. So the station is just down there, just before that bridge. You can see the bridge. And then if we look down this way, Coming down from the left is the line that comes down from um, this card, and the one off to the right carries on to Lou. Normally, the train only comes into um, this, passes this point. I'll tell you a bit more about the station when I get there. I'm not going to venture out onto the uh, platform in this pouring rain as I've got a lot of walking to do, but this is the end of the line. That extension through the tunnel goes to a place called Moore's Water, and apparently, there used to be a station down there. And at some point, whether it's still used or not, I don't know. I've checked on real time trains, there's been no um, freight trains down there in the last week. But there's a uh, cement works, or there was a Lafarge cement works down there. And then if you look behind the station, behind that bridge, you can see another bridge, which is the Vardut at Liscard. So basically, the Lou Valley line has to come down from that Vardut all the way down here on that huge big loop I was telling you about. 
So anyway, that's looking towards Moore's, Moore's Water, and now I'm going to look down the other end. So uh, there's the um, station sign, and there's the, uh, the um, track. So, the shot of the hut I'll have to get when I get onto the train. I've got now about 20 minutes until the train's due. Um, there's only two trains that stop on this um, platform each way, each day. There's the um, 9.49, which is the one I'm catching, and the 15.21, which is between Lou and Liscard. And then between Liscard and Lou, there's the 08.59 and the 14.33. Interesting enough, all the intermediate stations on the line are um, request stops. Coombe Martin Junction is not a request stop. The train does stop at these stations on those four, on those four um, occurrences. Normally, as I said earlier, the train only just comes in over the junction because there's only one, one carriage long. It doesn't come all the way up to the station. Um, usage of the station has, has gone up fourfold. In 19, <coughs> usage of the station has gone up fourfold in. Um, 2015, 2016, there was um, 48 people used the station during the year, but between 2016 and 2017, uh, 212 people used the, the um, station. And I read somewhere that there's been a sort of a big use to try and get get it out of the bottom 10, so to speak. Um, and people use this station as a walking group, and they always either start at this station or they finish at this station, so they can use the um, so, so they can get the numbers up. I bought a Rover ticket for the line. I actually have bought a return ticket from Plymouth to Coombe Junction Holt. So my, my um, two journeys will register for that as well. The, um, the station was originally opened in um, 1896 uh, as part of the Liscard and Lou Railway. And, as a, and at Moore's Water, it linked with the Caradon Railway, whatever that was. So, that's it. That's the detail of this station. <laughs>